Hello, my name is Iris. And my name is Paul. And together we're a melting parrot and we're working on this game called DAP. I do all the art and the programming. And I do the audio, level design, story and game mechanics. Together we collaborate on all the ideas for the game. DAP is a short psychedelic horror action adventure game. It's just made by the two of us and we make everything from scratch. And we just skipped into the game here a bit. We just entered a new area here. So part of the game is wondering what you are and what your purpose is and uncovering the mystery. For the tone of the game, we're going for a mix between bizarre and horrific and cute and innocent. So we want to surprise the player with the unexpected. The environment is very alien and unusual. Just not too long of a game, it's about two to three hours at the most, but we think we just want to have a very focused game. And so interacting with DAPs is going to be the main focus of the game, and they'll be able to help you in, in different ways. Sometimes you can rescue them, but other times you'll have to sacrifice them. They follow you all around and they you use them to solve puzzles and everything, which is Zelda type mechanics mixed with a bit of odd world. Skipping to a little bit of a darker bit here with some more enemies. So you can charge up your daps and then let them shoot spells for you, which means the more daps you have, the more powerful you are. You have to find a way to get through doors, basically, in this case, always get enough daps to get through a door because there's always going to be a certain amount of switches or something that you can only do if you have a number of daps. We died here. <laughs> also, I think the game is unique in a sense that it's, uh, we call it a horror game, but it's really not actually that difficult to play. We're trying to make it fairly accessible so it's not hard to beat in a way, so it's not very difficult to fight enemies and such, but most of the horror comes just from the vibe of the game. You'll meet plenty of strange characters along the way. Maybe you'll be able to help them. A lot of them have a very um, dark tone to them. They all have been in a, in a very dark place. That's where you find them and something bad has happened to them and they are sort of depressed. But in a way, the game is also showing hope in very dark places, let's say, by the, the characters showing that they're still positive even though they're like in a very horrible place but in a way they're still hopeful. We're a big fan of horror that makes you feel good. Well I am anyway. <laughs> Not so much Iris. It's just your typical feel-good horror game. Another element in the game is uh, rescuing daps where you send them up into another dimension and in this dimension they basically become a form of currency which you can use to unlock things in this other dimension.
main topic of the game is really something that we call the infection, where there are certain plants that look pretty evil and if you stay too long in this area, then your depths that you will have with you will be transformed into zombie type creatures and they will turn against you and you'll have to kill them. And you can cure them of this infection by planting fires and you'll be very often looting and picking up resources so you can build fires and then also craft healing potions. And we just wanted to show you this bit because there's, you will come across this giant dap. While there is a lot of horrific elements in the game, there's also a lot of cuteness. We like this interplay between those two extremes. really love horror type games or movies because we think that horror gives you a, a very interesting excuse to be very creative. It makes you not hold back in any sort of way. We were trying to make this game as weird and creepy as we can possibly make it. So thanks for checking out our game, Dap. We really love making this game and we're really excited to show it to the world. Dap, dap.